Hey guys, Super Weed Man here, and I'm going to show you the products that I use when I fight insects and fungus. The more products you have, the better, and try and prevent using the same product twice in a row so bugs don't build resistances to them. Old stage green cleaner, and this stuff's really popular right now because it works. Uh, great on killing powder mildew and keeping bugs off. The ingredients are oil and alcohol and soap. Kind of expensive, but it works. Next we have Guardian. And this is a new product that I'm test sampling. The active ingredients are cinnamon oil, lemongrass, and citric acid. The rest is unknown. Uh, cinnamon oil it will control powdery mildew and acts as an insecticide and insect repellent. Lemongrass is uh, one of many herbal oils that Mother Nature uses to repel for bugs and spores. And um, I'm not sure the direct method of attack is, but I know that it does work. The citric acid, otherwise known as D-limonene, works similar to pyrethium. Um, it repels and paralyzes the bugs that will be munching on your plant. Directions are one vial to one quart and we'll see how this works. I have no doubt that it'll probably be pretty decent. I'm pleased to see the ingredients in this one are uh, not redundant in other products that I use, so looking forward to adding this to my uh, repertoire. Next we have Sierra Natural Science 209, AKA SNS 209. And this is a rosemary based product that works systemically with something called rosemaric acid and when bugs taste this on a plant they leave simple as that compost tea is another good thing to use to protect against pathogens and the beneficial organisms here will compete for space on the plants making it more difficult for harmful bacteria and organisms to uh, survive now we have azimax and pure neem oil 100%. Azimax contains azadiractin, which is 90% of the insecticidal qualities found in neem oil. Azimax is a pure extract of the active ingredient only that kills the insects. Azadiractin, it works systemically inside the plant and only lasts about five days on the leaf surface. Uh, the neem oil, however, has several fungicidal compounds in it, which I like to add a little bit back into the Azimax when I'm using it. So I'll use Azimax at full strength, and then just uh, on top of it, throw in a little extra neem oil. Peppermint tea works great as a root drench against fungus gnats, which is a problem here where I live. Brewing a strong batch of tea using at least 1.2 ounces per gallon of water. Um, you can make it stronger than that if you like. Will really ruin the day of a lot of uh, insects living inside of your soil. Tree Tanglefoot is an item that will prevent bugs from crawling up and down the stalks of your plant. It's a very, very, very sticky substance when applied looks kind of like a yellow sap and it's basically there to prevent bugs from crawling across that perimeter so you put a circle of goo around the base of your plant near the soil and any bugs trying to crawl from the leaves to down the plant into the dirt they're going to get stuck it's a great way to tell when you have insects because you'll start seeing them stuck there where they might be just flying around otherwise it's kind of like putting one of those yellow insect sheets around. You know, know until you have them, until you see a bunch of them stuck to it. Tanglefoot works the exact same way, and you can apply it directly onto the plant. Last, we have pH up. If you are not foiler feeding nutrients into your plant, this is a great way to get PM off. Raising the pH up 8.0 kills fungus and makes it hard for their mold spores to reproduce. Alright guys, well, hope you found that helpful, and if you did, like and subscribe. Thanks.